in the previous tutorial we have talked about the python identifiers so um, in this tutorial i'll talk about one more function that is the built-in function and it is by default available with uh, you and you can use in your program that function name is id and uh, we'll uh, see that what is the use of id function um, this video will be very short but this id function is very important in terms of the use so that's why uh, i will tell you that watch this video very uh, carefully and uh, understand that how to use the id function and what is the use of id function so uh, first thing that you have to remember that is everything is an object in python everything means everything uh, if you declare any function or if you declare any class in your uh, program so everything will be act as object and as we know that python is pure object oriented programming language so whenever you declare any variable as well uh, var any variable so that variable is also an object data type uh, we have already seen uh, data type is a property of the object that we have seen that there are so many data types are available for example in float uh, list tuple dictionary so uh, data type is the property of object and not of the variable so what is the use of id function so id function is a built-in function and uh, the use of id function is it returns the identity of object identity means uh, the address of object of object in uh, if i talk about in terms of uh, object oriented programming language so uh, there are three things that is very important uh, in terms of the object one is uh, one is called uh, python uh, sorry one is uh, called uh, identity of object second one is called the state of object and third one is called the behavior of object so identity means uh, by which you identify the object and it should be unique so to get uh, the id of any object we use the function id and we pass the object uh, that uh, that object for which we want to get the id it will be unique and constant throughout the uh, lifetime of the object so um, if any object gets created in memory so uh, the id of that object will be unique and it will be constant it won't be changed to get the id of any object for example if we create any um, uh, variable a is equal 10 so then if we want to get the id of this object uh, that is 10 uh, and we are uh, accessing this object by the name of a so we will write id of a and the function id a so it will return the id of a this is the integer value uh, this is the integer value and it could be anything it is a random number so whenever you run your program on your pc so maybe you will get the different number so uh, it would be um, any integer number that is the address of this object remember one more thing that is the object will be right side of this equal symbol so 10 is actually object and uh, the a is we call that is variable and in terms of object oriented programming we call a as a reference b is equal hello world if we create any string object uh, so we can get the object of b by calling uh, the id function id b so we can get the id of b so these uh, these are the id of your objects so what is the use of this id function uh, id function will use to uh, understand uh, the concepts of mutability and immutability uh, mutability uh, actually there are two things in uh, python uh, one is called the mutable object and second one is called the immutable type of the object so object could be of two types mutable and immutable to understand that uh, uh, the concept of mutability and immutability this id function help us to understand in better way so that's why uh, and uh, just remember this id function when i will talk about um, the mutability and immutability concept then you will understand uh, the use of this id function so that's all for uh, this video uh, if you like this video please uh, like comment and share and please subscribe my channel to get the latest videos notification uh, there are so many things that will be covered in the next uh, tutorial or uh, next coming videos so please subscribe this channel so thank you. Thank you for watching this video.
Bye-bye.